Hi guys, Dominator of the World here, doing a commentary video on Empire Total War Multiplayer. In this battle, I command Austria, and my opponent, Wanaki Mike, uh, yeah, Wanaki Mike, he commands uh, the Poland Lithuanians. So, let's look at my army first. In my army, I have one General Swadegard, two Karasier, two 24 pounder uh, Howitzer for artillery, one Zinsers, Two Windbush Jaegers, eight Line Infantry, and one unit of guards. Wanaki Mike, Wanaki Mike's unit, I mean army, has two Hussars, two Ulans, one General Bodyguard, two Puckle Guns, four 24 pounder foot artillery, five Line Infantry, one unit of Grenadiers, and three Light Infantry. Now the rules for this game was that you could only have a max of two artillery and those were the uh, rules that I put so that my opponent doesn't spam but um, he made a mistake in his uh, deployment and he um, made too many artillery units so he very honorably told me that he would only use two of his artillery units and I told him it was alright that he could use them all but he uh, decided just to use two. So, very honorable of him. He's a good gamer. Uh, so anyways, we both are not campers, so we met in the middle ground. And I set up my army first. And <clears throat> my Windush Jaegers, they are very good units. They're like the elite skirmishers for the Austrians. Um, but the thing is, you can only have a limited amount, because, like, after you buy two, it's not an option to buy more, even if you have a ton of money. So, here we're marching forward. And, because of, um, normally, this would be a bit unfair, because he has a, a numerical disadvantage, because he got brought too many cannons, but, seeing as how almost all of his units have a ton of uh, upgrades then I'm not really I wasn't really feeling that pitiful now because if he had used his artillery he would have had a ton of artillery and a ton of upgraded units uh, so here he charges his calf, uh straight through my uh, skirmisher lines and into my line infantry and I try to get my line infantry into well, not before it, but later on I get my line infantry into square and we're able to repel them. Uh, so, it looked like he was trying to make a bayonet charge with his line infantry here, but we just shot him dead. And so now they're riding. And you can see he separated his forces, and that's not a good thing, especially when you only have like a, a limited amount of line infantry because you brought too many artillery and there my guys going to square so now they're all riding and that was only his left wing cav he still has two more units of one unit of Ulan and one unit of Hussars uh, so anyways on the center I suppose we're shooting at this big blob of his line infantry and here a ton of them die and he's gonna make a tactical withdrawal with them very soon and it's gonna be looking very sweet uh, so here on my left flank I decided to do an all-out cav charge on his cav here but he did make a very good move right here he moved his cav right behind his skirmisher pikes so I had to run into his pikes before um, I could get to his cav but I made the sacrifice because I wanted to kill his cav and his skirmishers uh, but it seemed to do, it seemed to be the wrong move to make because uh, one of my uh, cav units is already riding, and the other two are gonna follow suit. And he's not gonna lose much cav or skirmishers. Uh, so here's a close up. Okay, here is his tactical withdrawal with his awesome, and he's made an awesome column. 
Uh, so here on my right flank, some of his units have stopped routing, and he's also making them withdraw tactically. But the thing is, he's making them walk, and he's not making them run. So that's a bad thing, since I can catch up to his units and just shoot them while they walk. They're basically like walking ducks instead of sitting ducks. But anyways, here he's making that unit run, but he's going to charge his grenadiers into uh, the flank of my line infantry. And I'm going to retaliate by charging my line infantry into his grenadiers. But then he charges his line infantry into the backs of my line infantry. So it's a bit of a of a, well, I don't know, sandwich. So, here I've got my guys ready to flank him. And they're getting shot at by his cannon. And now he's using all of his cannons, now that he sees it doesn't matter. Okay, so here is his column. And even though it's all disorderly and everything, it looks pretty epic right now. I like it. Uh, so here I'm moving up my windbrush shakers. And they have some pretty sweet uniforms. It almost looks like Russian uniforms during uh, the Soviet Union times. Uh, so anyways. Here I charge uh, my other two units of line infantry into that bayonet fight because he started to route some and so now we're going to route his line infantry and there's his drummer boy and there's his flag uh, so I got one of my units to f flank fire on his epic column so now instead of epically marching away he's going to epically charge into my uh, line infantry, and he's gonna make a very epic hole into my line infantry, right through the middle. So he epically broke my broke my line in half. But I am also gonna make an epic move, and I'm gonna maneuver two units of line infantry around his guys, and I'm gonna charge them from the flank and behind, and I'm gonna make an 18th century of Kenai, the Battle of Kenai, Kenai. So, here I go. And one of his units is already riding. Epically riding. And now, all of his units are epically riding. And so here's what remains of his epic common. Call. It's now an epic circle of death. But anyways, here I decide to charge with my Wimbu Shakers um, into his light infantry. And I suppose that was an alright move. I soon follow up with my line infantry. Uh, here it is, as you can see. And we're going to push straight through, through his uh, line infantry and his light infantry. And we're going to go all the way into his artillery line. Which is also going to be pretty epic. Uh, so here on my left flank, you can see that I'm providing some flanking fire on his artillery. And here I'm charging his artillery line. And here's the epic part. It, if his artillery had fired on my line infantry, it would have looked a lot like uh, the Battle of Bull Run, how it was depicted in the movie Gods and Generals whenever uh, General Jackson's units charge into the, the artillery units. If I remember the movie correctly, it was General Jackson's units and not the other way around. Uh, but anyways, though all of his units are riding now, and that's the end of the battle. So, good game to my opponent, Wanaki Mike, and I'll let you guys see the statistics. And good game to my opponent. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.